Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. It is very cloudy outside, but it's gonna be really nice today. Actually, the direction that I'm driving looks like it's clearing up, so. Um, we were up early this morning and I couldn't fall back asleep. So 520 I woke up, couldn't fall back asleep. So I was going through my Instagram because last night I had asked for all of these like baby product recommendations and my followers came in clutch. They sent so many and kind of gave me some ideas of things like not to worry about. So, um, that was super nice. I was going through that, those and making a list of like the top recommended products. Um, I am drinking an OG drink. This is a passion tea lemonade from Starbucks. This just brings me back to college. This was my go-to drink in college when I didn't want a coffee. Um, actually I couldn't really drink coffee in college cause it made me sick. Um, sorry you guys, so he's chewing on a bone. If you hear like weird clicky noises in the back, but this is a venti passion tea lemonade with three pumps of classic syrup. So good. It's tart just just barely sweet enough it is not super sweet it's not like they're like refreshers i personally think those are like really sweet most of the time but it's just so light and i had coffee yesterday and it made me like not feel great for like the whole day so we are trying something else today but since i'm gonna be out and about i figured this would be a good drink to have um just a little light refreshing beverage um okay on the agenda today we kind of have a big weekend um or a big day it's a lot of it's happening today so jonathan is working today but we're making some pretty big baby purchases this weekend um we are purchasing our stroller which is like the biggest purchase of all the baby things um our crib a baby swing and our infant car seat so and like the base so lots of purchasing purchasing happening today um, but I have like a process like that we're following. Like I have a bunch of cash I have to deposit that I've just saved literally in a coffee can. Um, just from like wedding tips, random like gifts, cash gifts that we've gotten. Um, so I need to deposit that. And then we have a Costco like reward certificate that we're going to cash out and we'll use that to basically get a free car seat, girl math. <laughs> um, and then the other stuff we have like a target coupon that we got because a friend of ours gave us an expired car seat and target is, was having their car seat trade in event which you get 20 percent off of like another car seat or um baby item and so we already ordered one car seat and then the baby a baby swing that i was looking at is also available on target so i'm going to use you get to use the coupon twice so you get to use 20 percent off for two products and so um i'm getting a baby swing with that and then the crib that we're ordering is also from target so lots of big baby purchase purchases happening but honestly i just told jonathan i'm like let's just get the big purchases out of the way I've known like what car seats I want. I've known what stroller I know. I knew what stroller I wanted just because so many of my friends have this stroller and they love it. And I've seen it compared to we're okay. For reference, we're getting the up a baby, um, the up a baby Vista two. We're just getting the new one. Um, and I actually had a friend that was willing to sell us her old one, but I think just because this is our first baby and we're, you can use this, it's a travel system, so you can have up to three kids on it at one time. Um, I just want to get the new one. And also I'm nervous. Like, I don't think the adapters work for the old stroller anymore. So like, I just want to be able to have like, you know, not have to worry about like buying this, then having to get another stroller on the road. Like we're just getting one nice one to get us through all of our children, hopefully. Um, Okay, go chew on your bone. Okay, go go lay down. Thank you. Um, so anyway, we're getting the upper baby, and um, it's I mean it's not an inexpensive stroller. It's a thousand dollar stroller, but you it grows with your family, which I love um, because I'm like you know what? By the time we get multiple cheap strollers, um, we're, we're you know you buy three cheap strollers and you already have paid a thousand dollars so i'd rather just get it right off the bat so we are not getting the up a baby car seats we are getting the maxi cozy car seats um 
they i just my friend has them and i love them they're so pretty and they're very comfortable and like the fabrics are really great um and they're really highly rated for like safety and stuff so um getting those and um the upper baby it has the adapters so we can click in the infant car seat and then once the baby grows out of the infant car seat she'll go into the toddler seat and like then you can just add like the rumble seat and like there's all these different attachments that you can get as your family grows so um love that so we're getting that and then the crib i'll show you guys probably when we get that in um I don't know if I've mentioned this. I won't ramble on too long. I've already been talking for six and a half minutes or seven minutes, but um, we are, we are, our house is only two bedrooms. So we have two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. And um, so our spare bedroom right now is my office and a guest room. It is still gonna stay, a, it's gonna be a guest room nursery <sighs> combo. Our guest room is still gonna be a guest room, but we're gonna make it a like guest room nursery combo um, or like a hybrid room just because baby probably won't be in there for a while um maybe for naps and stuff but um we do still need a guest room like we have family coming to stay with us this year both before and after baby gets here so um it's just that's more useful to us right now than a nursery but we i still want to like decorate a nursery and like have a room that's for the baby and that closet is like all of the clothing and all that stuff that we have so um it's just nice to have like a baby room because like we don't have a lot of storage in this house and so like we really needed that closet for all the baby things um so that's the update on the nursery but today i am also going to go around it's a big weekend for garage sailing in my city um there is a huge neighborhood rummage that happens every year it's called the kingswood rummage if you're from here you're probably very familiar um i have not been garage sailing since like before college, I think was the last time I went, but I feel like just when you have babies and kids, that's like the way to go. Um, I have learned the joy of thrifting for baby stuff. Um, it's so fun and it's just so much cheaper than buying new. So um, we're gonna go garage today. My mom also texted me and said that she has a friend having a garage sale and she is, um, she has tons of baby stuff and specifically baby girl stuff. So um, I am gonna go check that out. It's not too far from my house. And then I'm gonna go head over to the other side of town where the big garage sale is. It is 8.06 right now. It feels like it's like 10 a.m. But I'm thinking they all start at eight. I could be wrong. Maybe they don't start till 10. But anyway, I'm just gonna kind of like mosey over there. I wanna get there early before it gets too crazy. I'm sure I'm not the only person to say that, but um it started last night i think yesterday or maybe thursday night um and then it runs i think through tomorrow so some of the stuff might be picked over but i'm gonna go check it out and i have an open saturday and then i'm gonna come back and we are starting to move my office out onto the loft so i've already been rearranging some stuff and we are going to um finish that so that we can put up the crib in the nursery so super fun um but right now i'm gonna head out and do some garage sailing okay we are back from our thrifting adventure and i am tired <laughs> um we made a couple stops um and i'm gonna show you guys everything we got so not gonna lie the actual garage sailing was not super successful i mean i got two things at two different sales but i went to like what one two three four five six like six of them and the problem i was running into is um a lot of the baby clothes were for like the wrong season so um i keep forgetting that like at this point i can tell you guys the gender obviously i'm going to show you the clothes so you're gonna know it's a girl but um so like all these baby girl clothes were like super summery and i'm like well my daughter is going to be like, oh my gosh, she's so crazy saying that. My daughter is going to be like six to nine months in the summer. And most of it was like zero to three months summer. So that was kind of hard. I did find this cute little outfit set at the garage sale from my mom's friend. Um, $2 for a cute little set. Um, and it's like a sheer, it's like little leopard print butterflies. Um, and little leggings so that was super cute um 
there I realized though I think a lot of these garage sales um it, today's the last day so th I think a lot of them have been kind of picked over um so sorry guys my I'm like really tired I think I told you I woke up at like 5 20 this morning um so I got that little outfit and then this is like so random but this uh, the second garage sale I went to had these brand new Tommy Tippy ultra light soft orthodontic silicone pacifiers a two-pack which I looked it up like it's normally ten dollars and I got it for three dollars like it's unopened it's for zero to six months and actually so many people last night were recommending these pacifiers um and then I got freaked out because somebody mentioned they had seen a lot of the like two-piece pacifiers were like causing choking hazards so now i'm like paranoid and i only want to get like the silicone single single piece one so those are the two things i got at garage sale like not super exciting um but i'm glad i went because you know i hadn't been in a while and i just kind of forgot what they were like they are it's a lot of digging um and occasionally you'll find good stuff. There was one, the last one I went to actually, um, they had some really cute little, I think they had twin girls. And so they had a lot of cute girl stuff, but it was again for when she's like, like some of the stuff, I don't know if the tags were cut off or what, I couldn't quite tell what age they were. So I ended up not getting anything there, but then I went back to, we just had a brand new, um, kids thrift store open up so if you're familiar with once upon a child it's kind of similar vibes but just like more updated and I went on their opening day which is Thursday with my friend Kelston got overwhelmed didn't get anything but then I think I just when I'm shopping for baby I think I just need to go by myself because I, I tend to get it's the same when I'm shopping for myself like I just don't do well with other people um, I, I get like overwhelmed and I just like I don't know, like overstimulated. Plus there was a lot of kids running around on Thursday. And there were, there were a lot of people there today, but if there were kids there, they were like baby babies um, or <clears throat> like significantly older. So they were just like more, more well behaved. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the things that I got. I've been sticking pretty much to like zero to three months, three to six months. I think I mostly got zero to three months. I did get like a couple newborn outfits just because I don't know what to expect. So I think this first set is a newborn set. Yes. So this is a two piece. It's a sweater top with like little sweater pants. Um, again, she is due end of October. So it's probably going to be chilly or dang near chilly um, when she's born. So I figured that'll be a good little outfit to have that would be warm um <clears throat> I also am trying to limit the amount of like outfits I'm getting which I did get a few for like the different age groups but um I just didn't want to go too crazy oh did I realize this is oh yeah I did realize this is a set so this one is zero to three months and again this is an outfit but it says little wildflower and with these cute little flare <laughs> like I didn't even realize they were flare but that's so stinking cute so little set with a onesie and a pair of pants um <clears throat> I've just heard time and time again that like don't get a ton of the cutesy outfits because they it's just easier to have them in sleepers so that's mostly what I got with sleepers so I got <clears throat> this like oatmeal colored um zip up sleeper nothing groundbreaking um same situation with this one it's kind of this like lavender color these are both zero to three months um and then i did get here's one more outfit which i think this is like brand new um this was 6.99 so it's a little sweater i figured this would be good for like christmas time um this is three months and it comes with a little like floral onesie and these cute little leggings i feel like it's kind of like christmasy without being red and green a little bit you know because she'll be she won't even be three months at christmas she'll be two months two and a half if she comes early i mean like you know like a little early um you guys for summer i just feel like she's gonna come early um 
I may be sticking my foot in my mouth, but I'm manifesting that she's coming early. I would love for her to come on the 21st. Have I, have I told you guys this? So Jonathan's birthday is December 21st. My birthday is November 21st. I think it'd be so cute if this baby was October 21st. There's a chance. My due date is, is October 26th. Um, but I am, you know, that could be anything or she could come really early. So, um, okay, next. Oh, I got this another sleeper. I love these like fleecy sleepers if they're in good condition, just cause they're so cozy. Like they're so soft. They're so warm. Um, <clears throat> so this is another zip up fleece sleeper, um, for three months. And then I got some, what is going on here? I ended up getting a lot of the like bamboo pajamas. They have like a big section. They're more expensive, but a friend of mine was just telling me, she's like, it's so worth it. They fit into them forever. They're stretchy. They're soft, like hundred percent worth it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I had already gone and seen kind of what, <clears throat> what they had. And then I actually started like browsing through and picking some. So this is posh peanut. This is a three to six month. Oh, this makes me glad that I got some three to six months. I was like, did I only get zero to three months? So this is three to six month. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to organize these all later. And then this is a zero to three month. This is just like a, a, do they call this like a gown? It's not a sleep sack. You guys, I'm all paranoid now about sleep sacks. There's all these studies being shown that it's actually not good for babies. And I'm like, what the heck? It's like the, people swear by those. This is a newborn bamboo pajamas how cute and the little ruffles on the butt you guys i can't so cute so fun colorful girly option this is a zero to three month and this is again one of those like gowns which um are kind of like a sleep sack but easy for changing at night which i feel like will be nice and this one feels like brand new this is caden lane which i have heard of um this other one is uh, Gigi Max, Gigi and Max. Never heard of that brand. Um, I have heard of Caden Lane and I know their stuff is really good. I actually get <clears throat> served their ads pretty regularly. Oh, I did get this little onesie. Um, I bought some like mustard colored baby leggings and I wanted to buy some, again, she's born in the fall. So um, I just had the leggings and I'm like, oh, I need to get like a mustard colored you know, top set, whatever for her. So I grabbed that to go with those also so stinking cute. This would also be cute with like the little baby overalls that I got. I got, I was gifted one set and then I bought another, I thrifted another from Once Upon a Child, but there's that. And then the last two sleepers are actually magnetic bamboo ones, which again, these were a little bit expensive. This was $19.99, but feels brand new. I mean, even the like label is like not faded at all. Um, this is magnetic me zero to three months or eight to 12 pounds. And these are just instead of like zipper or buttons, it's just magnetic. Um, that did not <laughs> show you anything, but really easy to just snaps together. And let me tell you, that's going to be real nice at night. This also has little ruffles on the butt and the print is so cute. I don't know if you can see it. It's like little bunnies. It's kind of springy, but I'm like, you know what? She's gonna wear what she's gonna wear. Um, and then one more magnetic one. This one is also zero to three month. I went a little crazy on the zero to three month. I think we're good now for zero to three month. I might have to put on like my registry, like no zero to three month. Like let's go three to six and beyond. <laughs> Um, but another magnetic me one, um, just little polka dots and a little bit more plain. This one wasn't as expensive. This is $16.99, but again, for like a thrift item, it's kind of a lot, but the fact that, you know, it's going to last, um, and they're going to be able to wear it for a long time is super nice. Um, I got two more random things from kid to kid. Um, they carry actually, I think all of our kids thrift stores here carry itsy ritzy products. Um, and they did have these, like this teething mitt, which I figured, I mean, she won't probably need until three months ish, but got that. And then I did get two of the silicone pacifiers. Um, hi, you smelling the baby goats? No, -uh. no, that is not a toy. Um, so just wanted to grab a couple things again, just like sprinkling in here and there. Um, as I mentioned, we are making some big baby purchases this weekend. So like 
I probably didn't need to go this overboard this week, but I was out and about and I had a completely full day. You guys, it is 12.15. I literally feel like it should be three o'clock. Plus I'm so tired. Um, but I um, am going to put this stuff upstairs. Oh, also I got two more things or three more things. Um, so we, I don't know if this is a chain or not, or if this is just local, but we have a local like natural product store called Juniper Apothecary, which is that, a, is that a chain? I honestly don't know. Um, they have really beautiful packaging though. And all their products are very all natural, essential oil, um, herb based. And my, um, brother-in-law's girlfriend actually mentioned, recommended to me their like belly balm, which they've re designed their packaging so this is a little bit different than what she recommended but this is their pregnancy butter um it has lavender lemon and frankincense in it and then the ingredients are mango butter herbal infused apricot kernel oil olive oil arrowroot powder and then the essential oil blend um my belly has already been getting really itchy so i'm like and i've been like moisturizing just i use this like la roche posay triple barrier moisture cream or something whatever um for like my face and body but i figured i would get something a little bit more geared towards that so this was i've wanted to go there for a long time i just never catch them when they're open so i grabbed that just in their small tub um just because i don't know i want to see how fast i go through it um, and then I also, this was the reason I've been wanting to go forever. They have a bunch of different magnesium creams. So this is a sleep cream, um, which is my personal favorite use of magnesium. I, I, you guys, I used to sleep like an absolute baby. I would take my magnesium, sometimes take an Epsom salt bath and I slept like a rock. I would sleep all night, never wake up, except maybe to like drink a little bit of water from my bedside water bottle. Pregnancy. I don't remember the last time I didn't wake up. I mean, there was like maybe one time last week, but always waking up and I always have to pee. So, or when I wake up, I'm like, well, I'm awake, so I may as well go pee. And then it's just, it's a lot. So um, I just don't want to take Unisom every night. I know your body gets used to it. And it's just, I feel like it makes me a little bit groggy. Um, I don't mind waking up early, but the thing is, is sometimes when I wake up to pee that I can't fall back asleep for like two hours. So I like, you know, I lose a lot of sleep. But anyway, I'm gonna have to give this a try. Um, this ingredients in this are lavender, dandelion, and St. John's wort infused olive oil, magnesium oil, distilled water, emulsifying wax, aloe vera gel, essential oil blend, lavender and orange, and then liquid germal plus. I'm guessing that's maybe a, either a preservative, like a natural preservative, or maybe like a kind of like an emulsifying agent. Um, last thing before I leave you, um, on my way up to the register, they had some like facial and like bath care products. And I found this anti-aging serum. Um, it's a facial elixir. It's just a bunch of, um, really good oils, argan oil, jojoba oil, pomegranate oil, rosehip seed oil, boabob oil, marula oil, and then an essential oil brand blend with palmarosa, rosalina, capaiba, frankincense, sandalwood, neroli, and rose absolute. So um, it's just a facial serum. And I was like, these are like really good oils. And I've been wanting to get a face oil um, to do like my gua sha. And so my skin really likes for sure, is it Moroccan oil or argan oil? I get them mixed up. I think it's argan oil. Um, and then jojoba oil is the like closest to your skin's natural oils. And then rosehip seed oil is really good for anti like scar treat, like um, scar fading. So I was like, okay, I am going to try this. And it was like $25. So um, anyway, that was my little healthy products, natural products haul. Um, I'm going to go put these upstairs and I'm going to take a nap. I was going to move my desk and like my office out to my loft, but I think I need to nap. And then I just have to pick up Jonathan at 3.30. He gets off. And after that, um, maybe I'll have him help me move the office. And maybe I'll record that. I mean, it's not going to be really exciting, but got to make room for all the baby stuff. So that is where I'm going to leave you for now. And I will check in with you guys maybe later. Hello friends. Um, 
I'm a little bit of a mess right now. I figured I would hop on because I have some fun things to show you. Well, kind of fun things to show you. Um, this week was a big week for baby deliveries. We made a lot of like big purchases in the last couple weeks. Um, we purchased a crib, a stroller, a car seat, a convertible car seat, not an infant car seat. So that'll be like for later or like an additional car seat and then a baby swing. So we have three of the four in here and I actually need to go run and grab the baby swing just got delivered. I am not going to take everything out of the box, but I think Jonathan has today off, which normally he does not have Fridays off, but he's had a, a weird work week this week. Um, and he's about to be transitioning to like a different department, which will completely change his schedules back to 4 a.m., which if you are not familiar, he worked that for a while. Um, and then he got pushed back to like 7 a.m. And now he's going back to 4 a.m. So it's like, it's like bittersweet. It's like, I would rather have him work early morning shifts than like late night. Um, but it definitely makes things a little bit more complicated because we share a vehicle. So especially going into my wedding season, it just makes things like a little bit more sticky with like scheduling. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. But the baby swing just got delivered. So I'm going to go bring that in. And I think we, I think Jonathan might set up the crib today, um, which means I need to get my desk out of our guest room and I need to figure out what I'm doing with the bed that's in there because the bed will be staying in there. It's still going to be a guest room, but it's going to be like a guest room nursery hybrid kind of thing. Um, we do already have at least two or three family visits where like people are coming to stay with us um, and that we're like planning for, like they're not set yet. But basically we, it's not that we can't afford to lose our guest room. It's just that we do prioritize being able to have people stay with us. And it just makes things a lot easier um, for certain family members that live very far away. So, um, and then sometimes like I have my best friend that comes and stays with me when she's in town, stuff like that. So anyway, it's nice to have um, the guest room. And so we're probably just going to like shove the bed off in a corner even though it's a queen bed, it takes up a lot of the room, but just to still give like the effect of the nursery with like the crib. And then we might move a rocker, one of actually one of these guys in there um, to be determined on that. We're just like, I think once we get, you guys, there's so many things to go over with you, but um, with the nursery, actually one of the reasons why we got these rocking chairs is they're really comfortable. And I was like, you know what? It would be nice to have a rocking chair with a baby. And I don't necessarily want to buy like a nursery glider just because like, I don't know how much we'll actually use it when we have these guys. Um, but we also think it's going to get really crowded downstairs in this like main living area once we throw a bunch of like baby stuff down here. So I think eliminating this we could maybe put the baby swing here i don't know we have to figure stuff out but this might be going upstairs and then the crib we're not really doing anything else crazy for the nursery i mean we're going to do some like decorating projects which i'll probably vlog later on but um anyway that's the situation up there so i need to go bring in the baby swing um the boxes are literally piling up over here and then the crib is still in the hallway <laughs> which you guys will see um the crib i definitely cannot move upstairs for myself like I need job I think it's a two-person job I mean I saw the delivery driver poor lady was like struggling <laughs> even getting it up to our porch so um, I drug it inside and then that's where it landed so anyway gonna go do that and then I need to start moving my desk out onto our loft and then we'll see how far we get I do have um two grad parties this weekend so I have a weekend of events my brother's also coming to town and it is Mother's Day Mother's Day is also our first wedding anniversary so it's just kind of like a very very busy weekend um so I'm getting this done I just wrapped up most of my work for the week I might have like a couple other things I need to like you know jump in and do but for the most part work is done I want to do this and then I need to get ready for my grad parties because I need to be there at three to set up and it is 11 30 right now so Let's bring in the baby swing and start moving the office. <laughs> okay, there's the baby swing. Got my mail, got my seed refill, which I forgot about. Um, probiotics, so that's fun. Fun little surprise. 
And, all right, now I need to, oh, I love getting cards in the mail. Anniversary card for my mom, probably. You can all literally see her on our anniversary. Um, okay, so let me show you what we got here for baby products. Um, four big, big old boxes that I need to figure out what I'm going to do with because everyone says like take everything out of the boxes be just to make sure like nothing's broken and everything it like gets together okay so but then I know once you take it out of the box there's no putting it back in so we'll see how we do with that um you guys I am going back blonde in like two weeks um, before our gender reveal shoot, I just confirmed with my friend. We're just waiting to figure out a day. I feel like on camera I look so blonde, but my hair is still pretty dark. Um, but I've just been seeing old pictures of me blonde, and I'm like, oh, I just miss it. I feel so much more like myself when I'm like fully blonde. And I knew this would come, especially going into summer, but especially like with pregnancy and like gaining weight and like seeing all these like kind of like foreign changes. I'm like, I feel like I'll just feel so much better if I'm like back, if I go back as blonde as I can get. Um, so that is going to happen not next week, but the week after. So I'm very excited. Um, I still want like, I'll still leave a dark root just so it's a little bit more, more low maintenance, but the rest of it, I need to brighten, brighten, brighten. Um, here's the bump. I feel like I'm always wearing black when I show you guys. Also, it takes literally the slightest effort for me to get on a breath, but the bump, um, I had my 16 week appointment on Wednesday and I didn't film anything cause it was just like a pretty generic checkup. We did have an ultrasound and we did confirm that my subcranial hematoma is gone, which is good. Um, so I can like work out and like lift and like all the things again. Um, so that was fun. And then our next appointment is our anatomy scan, which is like the, probably the last ultrasound we'll get, um, unless we do an elective one. But, um, I literally had to ask my OB, I'm like, is, am I like, is my bump okay? Like with how big it is. And she's like, no, you're fine. Um, and like my weight was fine. So anyway, it's all good. It's just, I feel like I'm huge for how early I am. Um, I guess I can give you another update with that. I found out that my placenta is actually posterior now. So it was kind of leaning more towards anterior, which is on the front. Um, and the reason it's, it's, it's exciting, it's not like the end of the world, but basically when you have an anterior placenta, it like blocks a lot of the baby's movement. So a lot of times you won't feel, sorry guys, the being out of breath is real. Um, so with um, anterior placenta, it blocks a lot of the movement from baby. And so it's not as, you usually don't like feel as early the movements and like Jonathan wouldn't always be able to feel you know, like the kicking and the whatever till later. Um, but it's posterior now. So that's kind of exciting. Um, but hopefully I think I felt movement a couple days ago. Um, and it's like still like, uh, I can't tell if that's what it was, but I think it's what it was, but it's inconsistent. It's usually in the evenings, um, when I feel it, but we'll see if that picks up here in the next week or two, it should. So anyway, all right, baby products. Oh, so, um, we did get our stroller. We got the up of it, up a baby Vista V2 stroller. I got it in the color Declan, which is like the beigey oatmeal color. So it's like black, but then like the hood accents are that like really pretty, like beigey oatmeal color. Um, and that's kind of the color we're going for with, for like all of our big products just so that it remains kind of like gender neutral um obviously baby's a girl which you guys will know by now when this goes up but um it definitely leans a little bit more feminine but like i think it works for both and it goes well with our decor in the house which i love um and it's just really, really pretty so really excited about that we did decide to get a new one i have friends who were offering to sell me like their older ones, but the adapters and like all that stuff don't work for the older ones. And that just made me nervous. And I'm like, I already know we're having to get adapters for our infant car seat, like things like that. So I just wanted to be able to like right from the get go, just be like good to go for a while. Um, this is not a cheap stroller, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this was a thousand dollars. And 
I will say the reason we got it is because I have so many friends with this stroller and it's it's like a travel system so it grows with you with your child with your family you can fit up to three kids on here at once and I have used it like with my friend my best friend Kelsten has it and I use it a ton when I'm out with her and um, it folds up really easily it's I mean it's a big stroller but I wanted to be able to buy one stroller and use it for hopefully all of our children and not have to buy like multiple strollers that are like cheapy and like are gonna fall apart and let me tell you she puts these things through the ringer so um, I just strongly believe in this I knew I wanted this from the beginning so we did get this it comes with the bassinet attachment and a toddler seat which I'll show you if and when we get this put together I'm not sure when that will happen but that's what this box is and she's a she's a hefty one um, this was actually the first big baby purchase um, I'm gonna show you guys actually the close-up of the picture on here so you guys can kind of see what this is okay so this is a convertible car seat so um, my understanding of a convertible car seat is it's like open, doesn't have like the handle on it, you know, like an infant car seat does. And this car seat will grow with the baby. So it, she can be in it from the time she's an infant all the way up to like a hundred pounds. So literally, again, we will never have to buy another car seat unless we want to, um, or have additional children. So, um, basically the reason I got this is because we were gifted some expired car seats from some friends while Target was doing their, um, car seat exchange program, which you get when you turn in a car seat, you get a 20% off coupon for up to two baby items and Target carries the maxi, some of the maxi cozy items. Um, we were going to get the infant car seat first. They did not carry the color that we wanted. So they did have this convertible car seat, which I'll show you in a second. And um, this also works great um, as like, like I said, like an extra car seat for us or um, if like my dad needs to drive her around or another family member, we can just like give it to them for their vehicle. Um, they obviously won't have like the carrier car seat, but like chances are if my dad's taking her anywhere, it'd probably just be like back and forth from her houses. So he'd be fine to like carry her or he'll have the stroller and he can put her in the stroller. So you guys, it's so weird calling her her <laughs> because I've been like, I was so in denial. We did get confirmation at our ultrasound this week that it is a girl, but I've been just so like, I don't know. I felt so weird. Like obviously we got the blood test saying it was a girl, but I just wanted to make sure. And I've been like, also I don't want to like slip up on social media. Um, so it's so weird calling her her um anyway so let me turn this around and show you what the car seat looks like just from the picture on the box um again this is the maxi cozy brand this is the magellan uh lift fit convertible car seat so it's this really pretty like oatmeal color this is called desert wonder which is the same color that we're going to get for our infant car seat as well so you can see there's like a little infant insert in here and then like a toddler and then or not even toddler but like you know well yeah toddler whatever um baby insert and then as they grow you just take out the different inserts and you like adjust it there's like a reclining adjustment and all that stuff so um that is the convertible car seat again this probably won't really get used much right away unless it's like for my dad or as like in a second vehicle because we do plan to get a second vehicle well, probably like shortly after she's born um but we're just like waiting that out like we don't need it right now and i definitely won't need it really during my maternity leave so um probably like christmas time maybe like beginning of the year i don't know we'll kind of see how that goes but all right then next maxi cozy item is the baby swing which we got the i think it's pronounced the cassia baby swing which again this has a picture on it so this hair you guys is wild um so this is the baby swing again like really pretty colors i heard such good things about this baby swing the two baby products i was kind of struggling with the most i know it's early you guys trust me i'm aware of this but um i've been looking and researching um bassinets and baby swings those were the two products that i was like what the heck do i get and honestly bassinets are even harder than the baby swings because there's 40 million bassinets on the internet ranging from like $50 all the way up to like $650 and what I want to know is why the heck are some $300 and some are 80 like 
Uh, that just doesn't make sense to me. A bassinet is a freaking bassinet unless it's electric and I do not plan on getting an electric bassinet of any kind. And I'm just like overwhelmed by all the options and like, what am I gonna like? What am I not gonna like? So anyway, my memory card is about to fill up. Um, that's where we're at on B. Oh, and the crib was over there, but I'll show you guys the crib once it's installed because I don't think there's a picture on the outside, but it's super cute. Um, once that is installed, I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna fill up my water empty this memory card, catch my breath, and then I will check in with you guys. I'm probably gonna do a time lapse, just like moving my office out and clearing out space. Although I'm quickly, quickly like losing energy right now. So hopefully I can get through it and we'll be good to go. But I'll check in in a second. 